Hello, welcome to the reading room. It's Sylvie here. Um, today we're going to do a pick a card reading and it's the topic uh, or the question what your parents really wish they could tell you. What they would say if they could. Okay, so the timestamp down below. Uh, take your time and um, I'll even pause the video and take my time. So I'll see you there. Okay, group one. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> um, we'll go find right... Well, first I have a few messages right here uh, from, um, I would say, the parents or the parent. And this is a divinely guided uh, message from the universe. All right, so we'll start right away with um, the actual t uh, what's going on. Like, uh, yes, your parents would wish to tell you something, but, you know, what's, uh, what's the actual underlying issue? And it's something they're searching, they're seeking, they want to know something. They, they're really um, wanting to understand. Um, they, they, a lot of the times they go and they um, reassess what they thought or what they're thinking or the process of what they want and how to ask and, or how to, to uh, find out. So it's all about information. They, I don't pick that they want much more than, than the actual information. So I'm going to grab the deck so give some more. So, uh, what is it that they want to say? What is it that they want to say? Well, there you go. I feel like it goes this way. It's um, emotional. It's about being right, being just, being fair. So, um, for them, there, there's some... Uh, they, they want to be on the same page or the same feelings. Or they want to make things really happy so for them that's important and they wish they could talk about their feelings or talk about your feelings or the feelings you know as a whole um because they want things to be fair things to be right things to be good uh, so it seems like somebody's either hurt or they have an issue with their with uh, feelings or and it needs to come out it needs to be discussed so everybody can be happy and um they seem to know, they have the idea or the, the want or the knowledge or something about what is the problem or what they need to address. Or they have a specific um, issue that they would like to address. And for some reason, they're not. They're not saying it. But they, they really search to figure out how to go about doing it or, or what it exactly it, it is that's gone wrong. Or I feel like it's... Um, a really a search uh, for, well, they want it to be fair, but for justice, I was going to say, but the justice card is out, so <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so, um, yeah, so why haven't they spoke, or why haven't they addressed the topic? Like, what's going on? We're going to find out what's blocking this conversation, and why they did, their wants haven't been there, haven't been said. It seems like somebody's arguing or not feeling well about the situation, um, it has to do with time, it has to do with speed, it has to do with when is the best time to, to act or react, and it never seems to be there, it never seems to be a right time, and they search for it. They're ready, they're ready to, to have that conversation, but it just doesn't seem to be the right time. And they want a happy home, they want it to be perfect, or they want the timing to be perfect. So it has to do with timing, it hasn't been right. So they sent they send you messages, so they either email you, text you, or or verbally, like tell another member of the family so they can gossip it back to you. Um, I feel like they they send hints. They 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 try to open up the conversation with you. Um, they try to put it out there, but they find it hard, or it's not you know it's one sided or. Like there seems to be some really big issue about this, and they have two messages, so I'm going to read them both now, and then we'll find out what's going on. Um, yeah, they're ready. They're open and ready and want to face whatever's coming up because they want to fix it. They want to open it up. They want to make it happier. Um, for them, it's really important, and they're putting that message out and trying to reach you and tell you something important. And they try many ways. I find that they really put a lot of effort into it. Um, they want it to work. 
They want things to come together. And they're not going to stop. They're really going to work on trying to get this to happen. So what's the issue? What's the problem? Like, why can't they talk? Why can't, why haven't they said anything, you know? I feel like it goes here, so I'm going to place it there. Oh, well, there's too many. Communication. Hmm. Um, well, it, it's like, it's like the, they don't know, they think they can, but it's, they're scared or they're worried. And it's like some new way. So either they're, they're, um, it's a new way for them or new thoughts or new, new direction or something that they would never really do. Um, it emphasizes on the, they're afraid or, or they don't know how to start or they're worried of how it will turn out. So what blocks them is, is the concern, um, of not knowing how this, uh, will be perceived and also, um, it almost feels like they've tried many times and they they either messed up with you and um or you messed up with them but somebody's uh not really receiving um this openness and this communication that they want to have because it's here the communication right and they're going to have it they're just really slow at it so in the future they they will as soon as they can the as soon as they have an opportunity they will so they're just worried because um, I really get in this card that that either this is like something that's happened before or it continuously happens or it's like um, they start but it's almost like they get nowhere. So either you or them, depending, or it could be both, both sides. So um, what, like... So will it ever like be said or not? It seems so. It seems like it will eventually because they are trying. So um, for those who have just one parent, then that parent's trying. And if it's, but I feel for those who have two parents that the parents are together in this and they're they're as one because I feel like one, and they really support each other. They love each other, and they really want this family to be uh, happy and. Uh, um, feeling good and being a real true family so um, yeah they just they're just going to keep trying <laughs> in the future it's going to be good or they're, they're going to get somewhere or you're going to get somewhere so it's going to open up yes Oh, take a deep breath. <laughs> I'm getting, um, it's almost like, um, the feeling I'm getting with this reading is that everybody's bundled up so tight and it's like, um, no one's breathing, no one's taking oxygen. It's like, oh, relax, re you know, release this, uh, emotion that you're holding on to. And that's what I'm picking up. Whether it's you or them, I don't know, but that's the en energy I'm having. Um, it's going to be really good in the future. It's going to be like given a chance. The sunshine's going to go in, and and everybody's going to put in their their effort. And uh, you see, they're like almost feel like you're going to open up because you understand that they're trying really hard, or it could be the other way around. You place it how it, how it resonates with you. But um, yeah, it's going to definitely happen. There's no doubt in my mind that this is going to happen. Um, it's going to be, uh, looked at in a different light, in a different way. Things are going to be, are going to change. And, um, the hangman is here and the seeker is here and they're both thinkers. They're both looking and searching. So it starts with this and it ends with that. So things will work out. And what messages do we have from your spiritual guide? Hmm. So, um, harmony, <laughs> you know, the yin and the yang, the harmony, um, putting the shadow side and the, and the, and the light together. So things well balance. Okay. And you'll have your wish. Wow. You're going to have your wish. You're going, it's like, it's like, um, you have, uh, been wanting this for a long time, or you have some happiness that you would like to share you've been living a happy life or, you know, so if it's however it fits, anyway, you want to share it 
and you're going to actually um, receive a message or you're going to give the message and you're going to get your wish. So uh, once it's put out there, you're going, it, the relationship will be the way you want it to be. Okay, group two, let's see what's going on with you. I have uh, quite a few messages and uh, one of them has to do with uh, your spiritual guide, your divine, and we're going to put them here. Another one from your parent or parents, depending on who, who is with you. And the topic or the issue, the main issue or the deep down underlying issue is about the fighting. The fighting and un, it's ongoing or, or the issues that are hurtful or it's like um, whatever um, is not good in the relationship between the two of you, um, it feels like it's been there for a very long time and it just keeps adding and piling or it's blocked and it's never been discussed. But um, it's just ongoing and it's just um, always there. And um, mm, so let's find out more. Let's find out what's going on there. It has to do with time too. So, um, or it has maybe it's the past, always thinking about the, the issue. But I, I, I get more like it always comes back up. It always, it's either brought up or it's uh, in the back of the mind, or it's uh, just hanging around this negative energy is just floating around when, when uh, um, the parents and you get together or, or it's thought of. And so what is it that the, par the parents want to discuss this, obviously, or there's something that they want to talk about, but this is some the major issue. So what is it that they want to say? What is it that they want to say? Seems like there's a lot there. I'll leave it there. Okay, we'll start off with this first, and then I'll read those. Um, they're tired of they're tired of thinking. They're tired of uh, uh, yeah. They or they want to think more, or they want to look at it some more I get um, there's a lot of a lot of issues here there's a lot of issues a lot of issues they want they want to talk about it and they wanted to get it out so of course it's issues but um, it has to do with choices some things uh, a choice that you made maybe or a choice they made but it has to do with choices um, what was thought to be maybe uh, di didn't come through or someone didn't choose what they wanted to choose or um, don't know if it happened or if they did or has been looking at watching. They've been, they've been uh, want to say that they kept an eye on you or they've been watching you or they, they, they um, definitely know what's going on and they see what's going on and they also see the choices that you make and how you uh, either don't go, go through with them, you rethink them, you don't follow through, you follow through, or something about choices and being done and how it's being done. And they would like to say that they, what, what they want to say is they see it, they know about it. They may not know everything, but they do know. They're not, uh, they, they, it's, I'm getting the message that they want to let you know that they're not out in the cold and they're not like, uh, someone that has eyes closed. They, they're very sassy and very, um, determined to tell you that, um, I almost want to, like, they have colorful words to say to you that, and let you know that, uh, um, they see things, they know things and they, they know what you're up to. And they would like you to know this. Um, they're connected to you. Uh, it has to do with the fact that um, about what you're feeling and how you're feeling and what you've been doing with your feelings. So this is, again, um, a, lo a very sensitive topic or you're being sensitive or, or you're... you're um... Also, I feel like they want to let you know that they love you a lot. This is important. Like you're you're connected to them. The love is here. Look at that. All three years are there. Two parents, and you. And if you only have one parent, then um, 
there's somebody else involved in this. So it's either whoever's close to your parent, um, they're there too. If it, if it's not a mother, father, then, um, or, or, you know, like parents, um, then the other person's included for some reason. Now, for this is specific, but for some it could be that your aunt is included or your grandmother's there. Um, but uh, e either way, they love you and you're part of them and uh, they're not letting you go and they're going to hold on to you no matter what. And they see you as a beautiful uh, child who, who is uh, loving and beautiful. That they see. But they also see that uh, you're you're trying to, it's almost like you're trying to hide from them or you don't let them know what you're up to or y you, um, you just, there's, there's a few dis scenarios, there's quite a few actually. So um, you're going to have to take the one that fits because there's quite a bit here. Breathe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. It's like you have to take a deep breath and relax and, uh, you know, let things flow. Let things go. Let things go the right way, the right direction. That is something that they absolutely want you to let you to tell you is that uh, stop stressing. Stop stressing about what you wish or what you want. And um, you can do it. You're able. Your, your choices are there. Yes, you have more than one or more than one way. But you can uh, take your time and choose what you wish and what you want, and you can go ahead and do it. So um, I feel like this is the parent that's in distance or is not here. So this is a message that is being uh, sent to you. So I'll leave that like that. And um, yeah. So I'm picking quite a bit. So there could be more than one issue. This person really wants you to succeed. And they wish they could tell you that. That they know what's going on. So um, so why haven't they uh, talked to you? Feels very heavy. <laughs> well, they're they're definitely um, they 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 want to or they have tried or they will try. Um, it seems like uh, you're defensive or they're still defensive. But something it's almost like um, everybody tries to protect themselves. And um, yeah, well, they want to. They they want they want to open that up they want to let that go or they want to uh, change uh, the, the what's ahead so they have to go get through all of this and there's a lot of work to be done to get through to you or to uh, to understand that's why they haven't done it because they haven't um, uh, really put the energy in or really rush to do this um, it takes time it takes effort it takes it takes a lot of work and um, yeah, they're learning. <laughs> they're learning how to get through this uh, um, wall of yours, or or they're learning to put their walls down. So it's it's quite a intense uh, relationship. Um, I I feel like there's some good and some bad in here. Um, I don't I don't get that they're like not talking to you or not not, uh, but I get that they don't. Um, have a deep conversation with you about what's bothering them or what's bothering you. You know, it, I really I pick up that the parents think that you're too tense or you're too, you're too closed up or you're too, uh, uh, not open enough for them to talk to you. And, uh, you know, that's the one I'm picking up. Sometimes it can be miscommunicating miscommunication you know but um what's blocking is what i'm looking at like why isn't this going through <laughs> and um it has to do with the definitely uh emotions definitely yeah see it's funny because there's two there's the 
there's so many thoughts. It's crazy. Um, here, it seems like they want to be supportive, but they're not. They ha or they haven't been, or you haven't been. So there hasn't there the support hasn't been there. There's no way that uh, people are actually talking uh, um, or opening up, and that means you or them, you know. And here, it seems like things are 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 stale, like are stuck, are not going anywhere. So there's no possibility of communication, no possibility. It just seems like there's no road that opens up. It's but you know, in reality, it's not really true, you know, because there you go. The first of all, this is the road wide open, and all the feelings are put forth, so it can be talked about. It can be fixed right? Through f talking about it, through understanding each other's feelings and where you're at. And here, it seems so stuck, but you know what? There's lots of space to get through those swords and you can take the blindfold off. It's just, you're being tied up by a ribbon. So it's not like, um, a really that big of an effort to start talking, but, um, it just seems that way. And once someone starts, the whole road is just wide open to talk all about this problems, right? Um, why? So this is what their issue is. This is what they really, they really um, if, wish they could say or tell you is that they're ready to communicate. They're ready to talk about it. And they do know who you are. They do know what you're up to. Lots of different uh, issues, so I'm picking up a lot of messages. But you're going to have to take the one that resonates with you because um, there's a lot. So, what is this going to be like for the, you know, the next three months or so? Because I feel like the, the future, um, like, is it ongoing or is it going to break up or... Or like, yeah, so, um, well, it says there's a lot of work. <laughs> it's not easy and it won't be easy. And, but, you know, eventually, um, yeah, you'll find success in it and it'll make you feel better or them feel better. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of stress, it's stressful place, stressful situation. So, um later later but not now it's right now it's too stressful but on the, on this it can open up and it, and it can release stress if you if you decide to um put the effort in or them put the effort in Whew. um yeah this is like look this is the options the choices everything is there it's uh definitely uh has a chance to to flourish into something, um, the communication can be opened up and aired out. That's what I'm getting. For, and this is your message, your spiritual guide message. It says, it says to, um, um, yeah, you, you, you don't, you, it's not up to you to know how, or you don't know how, um, it, you don't need to know how just open up and believe. So, um, it, it doesn't have to be, um, how do we go about doing this? You know? It has to be more about just go talk to them and believe in and 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 that it it will work out. Okay, group three. Let's see what's going on. There are a little bit of heavy topics today. <laughs> okay, what are your what your parents really wish they could tell you? Ah, huh? let's find out. You know what is it? If they could, they would tell you. That's what I get. So there's quite a few messages. They're from your divine, and this is from your parents, and this is what the issue is. So I'll pull out the deck. Okay. So the issue is um, uh, being connected, being one. Um, they wish they could tell you that they feel great around you, that they feel that um, the world is is um, balanced or or well thought of with you in it like um i feel like it's um you're you're like part of them or they both um have different ways of of dealing with you but uh they emotionally support you they enjoy you uh one parent might be more passionate with their their talk and their wants and the other one more calm 
So um, they wish they could tell you that, you know, they think of you and you're and they're there for you. Hmm. So let's find out more. So what is it that they wish they could tell you or what they want to tell you? Let's find out what do they want to say? I'll take them. Okay, so um, no, I'm getting not to take them. So I'll just look at them and see what they were about. But that's not the message. That it has to do with with timing and being happy and and so the happiness. So let's uh, yeah, there you go. This is not what they want to tell you. This I was this the feeling of the of the reading, but there we go. Okay, so um. They want, they want to let you know that uh, you're able and they wish they could tell you that you're able to do whatever you want to do. Like you're, you're able to go ahead and do, or they're able to do whatever you need from them. They're able to, to make uh, things happen if you want. So, um, yeah, they, they are definitely uh, your supporters. They want you to to tell you that they could help you with your dreams. They can make your dreams happen. Um, I, I I get like somebody who like needs uh, financial help to get a project or a business or or a goal accomplished, and they're saying we have the money, we can give it to you. I get that. That's really strong. Um, so I said it probably specific, but the other ones is that they want to be supportive and they they can help. They they know how to help. And, and they wish they could tell you how because they have the answer. And the other one is that um, they also support your dreams and they support the way you go about doing things. So it's, it's again, there's a few messages there. Uh, if put the one, the, oh, there's the money card. I mean, <laughs> the money, the, the manifestation of your dreams. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're there. They wish they could tell you that they can help. They can help... Uh, with thought, with doing, with uh, working with you, with um, um, putting some finance there, um, helping with connections, helping uh, calm things down, helping, uh, they just have this way of knowing. So they, they're they just saying that um, they can be there for you. And, and actually, uh, they wish they could tell you that they, they can help you with your dreams. And how they can help you with your dreams and be part of that and give you directions and wisdom and um, they wish they could just like guide you um, it's almost like they're successful or they know how to make you successful and they want to be there in the bigger part a bigger picture they want to do way more with you and um, they're not saying that to you. They're not telling you any of this. And then the other part is that they do believe in you. They believe in your dreams. They believe in you. They believe that you're capable and able. But they also believe that they can make it happen faster or help you along. Um, yeah, they say the fork in the road. You're at a place where you need some help or you're at a place where you need to decide. And so they're like, um, decide what you want to do. Decide what you're going to do. And see, there, there you go, the fork in the road. They want to tell you that they know that that's where you're at. And um, they just want to be there to help you decide or help you continue or help you with what is uh, coming up your way or coming, you know, there. So they have a lot to give and offer. But they don't. And why don't they? Why don't they tell you this? Why don't they offer this? Seems like you're independent. I get. I feel like this is the one. This is extra. Yeah, you're independent. They're not telling you because it's your wish to keep them out of it. It's your wish to do it by yourself. It's your wish uh, that you want things done a certain way. So they're trying to respect your wish. They're trying to respect your your way of doing things, how you are, and they value the fact that you're a hard worker, that you're you're motivated. And um, they see that. 
So they don't butt in. They, they, they don't uh, interfere in what you're wishing, but they want to. Yeah, they want a chance to help. They want a, they want a chance for you to understand or to see, or they want to um, give you a chance um, and, and show you the way. Um, yeah, so they, they definitely, they don't want to be judged either. <laughs> I get that. They really, really worried about you judging them. So they, they hold back a lot too. And that could be specific to someone, you know, um, if you're judging your parents, they feel it. And again, it's uh parent, parents, it, it's just, it depends on your scenario, who you, like how your family is, you know. Um, I feel like it's this one here. Hard work, yeah. Uh, what's blocking? What's why aren't they telling you this? I feel like it was already answered. Um, that they're not telling you because it's your wish, but also they don't know how to go about doing that. Like they wouldn't even know how to go about telling you that they would throw in what they could or give you what they could. To help you along or that they they don't even know how to to uh, um, open that up they don't even know how to discuss that with you it's like um, that's far away that's like not even something that they feel that they could even approach you because your dream is yours not theirs and, and it's far away from what they would be I feel like um, I'm picking up that um, also the dream is something that um, it's not their dream or it's not something that they would do, or it's not even close to what their lives are or would be. So maybe you're, um, it feels like they can't approach it because um, it's yours. You're getting a message here. I, pi I picked that up before the outcome, but that's okay. Um, it says here that you uh, definitely support uh, your wants and your ambition and who you are and what you're doing, and you're very comfortable with that. And so you're, you're going along just great and, um, you're, you're accomplishing what you need to accomplish and you have this way about you that you know what you need to do. And so that is important. I am picking up two messages. The other one is that you are successful or you will succeed. Um, yes, you will succeed. And now uh, also you'll go even more than you think and, um, you're protected and you're guided. So don't you worry uh, whether you, you want to do this on your own. Don't you worry about it. Your parents, uh, even if they want to help you and you're not um, asking for it, it's okay. However you decide or whatever you choose. Oh, there's two. Well, here I'm getting, there's a lot of discussion, a lot of, this might cause some problems and issues, um, later, um, it feels like, um, not now, not right now, but later there may be something that comes up that's, uh, um, quite disappointing or, or a, quite a problem, you know, but, um, <laughs> you get, you go through it so well, like you're going to be so successful, like you, you're not going to have any problems. And you, you know, you know exactly how to handle your life. So, um, if you need help from them later, um, they'll be there for you too. So just know that, um, in the future, if there is a problem and you need help, ask for it because they'll be there for you and they'll definitely send you back on your way. So there's a few messages, a few different scenarios, but either way, um, it all works out for you. Okay, group four. Let's see what's going on. Look at this nice big amount of rocks I put on <laughs> the group of all the groups mixed together. I, I don't know. I love them. All right. So I'll get back to the topic here. Uh, we have some messages and they're divinely guided. So I'll place that here. And this is a message from your parent or parents. And um, walking away. Walking away from emotions, walking away from what's going on. So your parents, um, the topic, the main issue anyway of what they want to talk about or say has to do with walking away, leaving emotions behind, leaving the baggage behind, leaving the past behind, leaving something behind. So let's find out more. 
So they wish they could tell you. What they wish they could tell you. So, um, yeah, so I'm picking up a couple things right, right off the bat. Uh, one is, um, there's two right here that one, um, I feel like y you're a person that can do whatever you want and they want to tell you that they support you, that they support whatever you want, whatever you decide. They wish they could tell you that. Um, the other one is that. They feel like you're, I, I get that you're, um, you think you know, or you can do whatever you want. And, um, you know, I get that there's like, almost like they're fed up with the fact that you are not emotionally supportive or you don't let them emotionally support what you want. And then the other one is that they know that you're capable and able. So it's almost like, yeah, you can do it, but we would like to be part of it too. And, you know, like, it's like they don't, they're not included or they don't know what's going on or they, or you shut them out or, and they want to, they, they like to go through this journey. And even if they don't know how to go about it or what to do or how, what needs to be done, they would just like be part of it and go along and, and explore it. And so they wish they could tell you that. But they seem that um, they feel like they're left out and that they um, you walked away from them and you're you're manifesting or you're you're managing your own life and um, you're supporting yourself. You're supporting your own ideas. And, but they also want to be part of that or they would like to support you or feel like um, maybe um, I almost feel like you, I want to say that for some because it could be specific. They feel like you're kind of selfish not letting them be part of this life of yours and so that's what i'm getting okay so <laughs> a touchy subjects i guess i better put a little forewarning sign on my label ah okay so there's another one here let's pick that up yeah there's a there's a time speed it has to do with it why haven't they talked to you about it, it has to do with uh, the right timing or this the yeah how things work out um, well, they, they feel like, um, they tried or they've, they've brought it up or, or they're just not going to time isn't right or the issue or the, pl the planning or the discussion things. Um, they, I feel like they've tried and they feel like they told you or they, they want to tell you they have to, they, mm, I'm going to slow right down. Feel like some for some in the past they have said what they were feeling or it wasn't well received or they don't feel like it could be um, received or the timing wasn't right or they're waiting for the right timing but um, I feel like they have they said it they've, they've told you but um, for some reason it, it didn't um, wasn't understood it wasn't put together or it took time to put it together with what had happened or what was going on. Or, um, it's like, there's two parts, there's two truths, there's two things. Um, there's like somebody saying one and the other one's against like, doesn't mix. So the communication's off. Um, the understanding of the conversation didn't go well, or it wasn't understood or they didn't get through. That's what I feel. There's something like that messages I'm getting anyway um yeah so now they're just going to sit there and watch and just hang back and and uh watch you uh grow and watch you succeed and and wish you well kind of thing they they absolutely are not going to discuss this with you whatsoever okay mm. oops I feel like almost like for some that it, that conversation is past and beyond and too late to have kind of thing. It feels almost like, you know, too bad, but now I'm moving on kind of thing. Or they moved on. Somebody may have lost a parent and they're not here. 
or they moved to a different city, or it feels like somebody moved or they're gone or they just disconnected, something like that. And um, yeah, there's no, uh, for them, it doesn't feel like there's any possibility of uh, uh, making this in a good way or good feeling or succeeding or making it happy or celebrating. They feel like they're losing part of your life. So for them, um, they close the subject and uh, put it as, well, you know, that's how it is and I'll just watch from and not be part of. They're kind of bitter. Yeah, that's their new, they took a new attitude, a new way. So that's what's blocking this relationship is they took a new attitude and um, decided that uh, this was going to be better. So they offer, f offer you peace uh, by leaving you alone and not button in and not being part of your life the way they want and um, just watch. So they're part of your life, but just not interacting. So, it's like, yeah, building memories seems to be important. Memories are important. So, yes, things are kind of like all over the place. Like you you rush with your decisions and your passion and your feelings and, and the way you... So you're either moody or you rush to judge or you rush... You rush a lot in your opinions, in your actions, in your thoughts, you know, and you don't take time... Um, to think about it and uh, a lot of the times it's stressful or it's uh, you chose uh, it in a hurry and you know and it causes problems because um, you're not taking time out to think about exactly what is going on and that's a spiritual guide message for you is um, that you you are uh, a person that is rushing and being opinionated that's quite tough. <laughs> okay, I, I was first. This is the first group that I've had the spiritual guides tell you, hey, you know, like pay attention. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're not always right. That's what they're saying. Wow. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, all right. Let's find out what's going to happen to this. Is it going to change in the next three months or so, or not, or? How will this go? Well, uh, things are... Mm, is, there is an opportunity to open up discussion or open up... You have your choice. You do have choices. And it's up to you to get going on them if you want them. So they're there for you. Um, it's up to you because you're holding everything in your hands. It's, it's your power. It's your life. It's, your, it's how you want to be. So you can hold back and, and uh, you know, it's up to you how you want to handle this. But you're definitely, it's all in your hands and it's up to you. Okay, group five, let's see what's going on with you. I think I'll take all these and put them back in my, in my bowl. <laughs> Lots of uh, stones. All right, so um, there's the message from your divine, your message from your parent. Ooh, and what's going on with them? Seems to be, um, for them, things are not good. They're not happy. They're, uh, I get that they're not happy whatsoever. Things are not good. So they want to discuss that, but they haven't, or they haven't talked about what they're not happy about. So let's find out. What is it that they want to say? Oh, there we go. Okay. So they want to talk about opportunities. They want to talk about few topics, few subjects, um, about how it affects, how things are being affected, um, about what what uh, just come in or what you just received or what you could receive or what you could have. Um, yeah, they want to talk about your future. They want to talk about what you need to do. Or, or something. Um, they want to talk about, uh, yeah, your opportunities in life. They want to talk about your your balance in your life. They want to talk about uh, how to obtain your skills or what you need or what you're lacking. Um, they want to like um, show you the way, help you um, 
They want to talk about what the knowledge that you need. Uh, they want to open your eyes. They want you to see clear. They want you to balance your life. They're twice. You have the balance here. You have the balance there. They definitely uh, choices, uh, what you're going to pick, um, how you're going to act, what you're going to do. And they want, there's the skills here. They want you to, to, um, to grab a hold of your skills or understand our learnings. And here's a little scroll right here showing about knowledge. So it, they really want you to uh, um, uh, get you either your education or uh, up your skills or uh, learn something or choose uh, something that you need you're lacking and work on what you're lacking to make it better so um, they see that you have um, a ways to go and they would like to show you the way or open up the, the path or, or set you off in the right direction because right now they're not happy with the way you're going or how you're going about things or what you're doing or what you're lacking it's or something they're very they're very um, displeased <laughs> I get that specific message for someone I'm, I'm displeased so you might have a parent that says that I'm not sure okay I never use that word so <laughs> um, yeah so there you go um, they wish they could uh, they find that you hold back or you don't you don't um, it's like your lack of confidence or you lack what you need and you you kind of like oh look at me can you get help me can you give me this can you give me that or can you do it this way or can you know and they're like no um you uh they wish they could tell you that you need to make your own life your own path be happy with yourself and be whole about what you want and your dreams and and look about on um, yourself or be yourself or or enjoy who you are. Look it straight in the face and see yourself, and and connect. And and they love you. They want the best for you, and but they want you to succeed. And they want you to change and and pick it up. And I wish they could tell you that, but they don't. Why don't they? Yeah, to be fair. Yeah, they want to be fair. <laughs> they want to be fair. Or they want you to be fair. Some fairness has to do with it. And um, yeah. So. They want you to be happy. They do love you. Yeah, your dreams. They don't see you as being realistic. Or something's not realistic. Let's see what's going on here. Or you don't have faith in yourself. Uh, no confidence. So, um, yeah, no confidence. So they see you as a, as a kid. Well, you are their kid, <laughs> but they see you as a kid. They see you as a young person or a person immature or younger than your age or or you take your immature, it comes twice already, but, um, or you, and you don't believe in yourself or, or what you, in your wants or your, in your dreams. So they see you as holding back and, and, and not having what you need when uh, in reality, this is what they see. They see that you are so smart and you're able and your dreams are big and you're capable of huge dreams or huge potential and you're, you're a caring, loving person and you have so much to offer. So they feel that they wish they could tell you to pick it up and get going on your dreams and, and your wants and your beliefs because you have what it takes. It's just you haven't put it out there and um, they're kind of like pissed off about it, but they can't tell you they can't talk to you about it because um they feel like um why can't they tell you oh, they just you're not capable of hearing it i guess you're not mature enough for them to be able to talk to you about it hmm. but oh there you go but you're capable and you're able so they're right you you can do your, you do your life it's just that right now you're in a, you're either in a, the bad place or you will be in a bad place or you're feeling uh, down and out or you're not you're not seeing all the good but you know what that'll change your opportunities will come in and things will be great and you're going to do well and you're going to choose well and plan well and you know life is going to move on and you're going to do really good but um and you're able right it's just maybe not in the right state of mind 
to do to go ahead and do this or they depress you by talking about this or you know there's something that's uh, not right and um but that'll change that's not staying there maybe times are tough right now in this world the way it is but um this will not change i don't feel like it's serious i just feel like it well it could be serious yes but i mean i feel like it's not long term and and it will be corrected and fixed and yeah uh, sacredness. So you, you, you're very, uh, you're very old soul. Uh, you, you're wise and and sturdy and stable, and you have so much strength in you. That's what your divine wants you to know. Your wish, your wish is heard. Your, you have choices, and you have your wish is heard. They say so. Choose uh, what you want. Choose it because you. Uh, um, have different thoughts or different wants so choose what you want because your wish has been heard and the world is at your feet so you're going to be successful or succeed in what you're doing so you will so you don't you worry about that so that's separate from what your parents are saying but it kind of goes with it that you're going to be successful and they do see a lot and good in you 